Hi there everybody, Chris van die here. Going green is not just about putting a solar panel on your house or driving a Prius. Uh, there's a lot more to going green. And my understanding of, of being green is to move away from consumerism. Now consumerism is something that is a fairly um, new thing. Uh, people consume a lot more than they should. Uh, we, we are a generation of driving to the shop, buying what we need and throwing stuff in the garbage. We consume, but we don't put back. We don't do vegetable gardens anymore. Uh, we don't recycle water. Things like that becomes a, a big issue. Uh, because if you could keep consuming, someone has to keep producing. And there's going to be a point when Mother Nature says, enough is enough. I cannot produce anymore. You guys have used up everything that you can. And to me, that is what going green is all about. Is to break the cycle of consumerism. And start thinking about how do I put something back. Now, if I can put back a little bit of used water. South Africa is a water scarce country. We... We do not have endless supplies of water. So if I can use the water from my bathroom, the water from my laundry, run it through a filtration system, then I've just saved three kiloliters of water in a month between two people. Um, so all my toilets are flushed with used water. Uh, the water doesn't smell funny, doesn't look funny, it's clean because it's been filtered. But at the same time, I have a nice garden outside of my house, which doesn't need any water because it's permanently in the water. So, why not start with recycling your laundry and your bathroom water? It's not difficult. So the way you would do something like this is to dig a trench about a meter deep, 600 millimeters deep, um, and about a meter, 1.2 meters wide, and about five or six meters long, filled with what's called pea gravel. Uh, pea gravel is about six millimeter gravel um, and that is the filter system so the water comes in on that side there's a small filter box in that corner where the water comes in and that filter box is really just to capture the uh, the larger pieces the hair and whatever comes from the laundry system and um, that is so that it doesn't go into the pea gravel itself so there's a box there that i clean once a year and um, throw out all the all the rubbish and the water then slowly goes through the system on the other side of the system there is a 50 millimeter drain pipe that catches the water at the bottom and then it gets pushed through and goes into a green jojo tank that um, is sitting here about 2000 liters of it now why would i use a system like this firstly if i have the water flowing through here it means there's no exposed water um, Laundry water can sometimes have a bit of an odor to it and that is because of the borax and the chemicals inside of, of the water. And that's what we're trying to get out. We're trying to clean the water so that we can use it in the toilets uh, for flushing and that it is then, um, it doesn't smell funny in, in the cisterns. So we, we flow the water through a, a bed of this pea gravel. So one, you don't have any exposed water. So there's no water that can smell. All the water is below the, the level of the gravel. The second thing is nobody can drown in it. It's not a fish pond where you have to protect for babies or small animals to, to fall in and they can drown in it. So it's, it's not exposed water. Yet there's 1,500 liters of water that's flowing through the system constantly. Then you go out to your nursery and you plant a few, um, a few flowers, a few plants, the irises, they all love the water and they help to filtrate um, the water itself. So the system is, is a nice system because we now have an additional garden that doesn't need any watering, that is green when you want it to be nice and green. Uh, it's directly outside one of our windows, so we look down on this garden and you have the various reeds and um, various plants that, that like the water uh, in this area. So what you can do, if you want to start going green is just to set up a small garden where you can reroute your laundry and your bathroom water run it through a, a little bed like this and even if this is the only thing that gets the water at least you have a bed in your garden that has water in it and it's happy to have the water and you have your water plants in there 
water doesn't have a smell because it's uh, underneath the surface of the pebbles and um, it's also safe. So yeah, if you have any questions or you would like me to help you to set up something like this, uh, just let me know and uh, we can make a plan.